Okay, here we go. Greetings and salutations. I would like to welcome you back to my channel if you are returning and welcome to my channel if you're new. I am Nikki. This is Midlife Adulting where I do adulting things and kind of share my experience with struggling with adult based tasks and working through them in case anyone else is on the same page as me. So today what we're going to be doing is some cash stuffing and talking about the adulting task that I have to do that I can't exactly do on camera because I am filming on my phone and it involves a phone call. We'll just get past that real quick. I have a front yard, but it's very small. It's basically house, porch, yard, which really means not yard. It means um, there's a little bit of a terrace. And when we moved in, there were these evergreen trees, no fun at all. And we tore those out, but since then we haven't done anything with the area. There also used to be a bush in front of our porch. Well, we don't get out there as often as we should, and we don't take care of our sidewalk like we should. And so we got a notice from the city that said, hey, you have plants over six inches, you need to take care of these guys. And indeed, indeed we do. We did some work on it. They're coming back today to review it. We may end up with a fine, unfortunately which sucks and I'm not thrilled with, but it is what it is. We did what we could. So the phone call I have to make today is calling a landscaper. Uh, fortunately, someone I work with has a family member who does landscaping and that includes lawn mowing and like making things look pretty. So I am gonna call and find out um, what all it's gonna take. Like, can they come out and do an estimate? what would they like to see and everything and hopefully I'll get that phone call made and I can include it at the the result at the end of the video. Phone calls fortunately don't bother me and I think that's because I was trained at my job to answer the phones so I'm no longer awkward on the phones if I ever was. I'm not really sure. A lot of people my age seem to not like the phone. I don't understand that but it's okay. It's a thing for some people and that person is not me. I, I'm gonna make that phone call after I do some of my cash stuffing and I get to fill in a couple of different challenges today and I'm excited about that. So let's get on to the stuffing. Okay. Hello. That was weird, but hi, I'm all decorated up like I normally am for work. So that's kind of fun, I think. And I apologize for the sound of the fan and the air conditioning in the background, but it is necessary for today. So what I have, well, let's first, let's count and see how much I have dealing with here. Two, four, six, eight, 100. Two, four, five, six, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. 197 dollars to put in, I don't know, all the, the um, challenges and stuff. So I'm not sure why. I noticed the lady at the bank did this. She put everything, and I see a lot of people at the in their videos do this. They put like the big numbers on the top. I don't understand why people do that. It seems easier to count from the bottom for me, but whatever, we will do this. So first, I'm gonna do one of my new challenges. And that challenge is the bookworm savings challenge. Now this is something that I created. Um, let's see here, I need a good color. I don't know if you can see me reaching for my colors, but I, so this is a, a saving challenge I started for my fellow bookworms read. For each book, read color in one spine and save a dollar for every star that you would give that book in a review up to $5. With 41 books on the shelves, you could save up to $205. So the book I finally finished was Building a Story by Donald Miller. This was a work assigned book and I really enjoyed it. It was, it was really good. And I even, I wrote in it in a couple of places, underlining things. Of course, can I find the underlines now? No, I cannot. But I feel like this is gonna help me not only in my job as a marketer, but with this YouTube channel and doing some marketing on it, the, 
the story brand as what as they call it there is a um oh there's one oh there's a bunch i scribbled a bunch in the middle or in the front the let's see here where's that picture of Right, so they have a little spreadsheet that you can use to work through your process and I think I'm going to do that next because it's going to help me it's going to help me get a one liner behind what exactly I'm doing with this channel as opposed to just I'm doing adulting things. Ha ha ha. So, I said the first time I think I said I was going to color in this one. So let me color this in. Oh good, this is kind of red. I wanted it to be red to match the book. I'm not going to write down the title names on this sheet, although I could flip it over onto the back and do that. Um, I think I'm just going to color in. This book, I am going to give five stars. Now, I almost was tempted when I was thinking about this earlier to give it four stars. Um because I wish it was written by a woman. I feel like we need more, I need to read more um, women in business books, but it's written by Donald Miller. And so we are going to give it $5. And because I don't have like different categories that I'm saving for right now, I am just gonna stick it in my piggy bank. Goodbye, five dollars. I will see you soon. So, what book am I reading next? I honestly don't know. I got a couple of July 1st reads books that I'm really looking forward to getting to. So it may be one of those. We will have to see and I will update everyone as soon as I know what book I'm reading. Now, one moment please. Thank you for your patience. The next challenge I'd like to go through is a personal challenge, but these both are available on my coffee. If you're interested in supporting me that way, they're available for free download or as much as you want to donate. I also have, you know, buy me a coffee for $3. I will probably spend it on coffee. Once a week I go and get coffee and egg bites from my favorite convenience store, Wawa. If we only had Casey's in our area, I could get pizza once in a while, but no such luck. So for the 165 mile challenge, admittedly, I am behind. Let me get a good color. Let's get a good stone color here. And then something bright to mix it up. I am behind on the 165 mile, ch mile challenge, but I have not given up. I have gotten 11 Point four six miles log so far. So what I am going to do is just color in 14 path, uh, rocks on my path. Now there's more than 166, 165 stones on this path because I might walk more and there is a flower. I imagine if I finish, that's what I'll color in, but it is join me on a goal to walk 165 miles between May 1st and November 13th, 2023. Color in one stone for each mile you walked during your challenge. Choose a reward and list it in the area below for added motivation. I actually don't have an extra reward for myself. I do think I should create one. And there is no reason why you couldn't turn this into a savings challenge if you wanted. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You could save yourself a dollar for each mile, five dollars for each mile, whatever you feel like. And what I may end up doing, I have the budget station just started their Etsy shop. And I am so excited because she has these little mini binders for saving. And they are so heckin' cute. And so I snapped one up. I haven't bought any binders before from anywhere but Amazon. It's more than I would usually spend, but I'm so excited to be able to support another small creator. And I am, I'm just super psyched to get it. So what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Let's do a 
big one, 11. So I'm not gonna do the half until I get there, but for right now, those are my rocks. So that is that challenge. So I have my gratitude challenge and I'm gonna do at least one right now. And I think uh, because I have it available, I'm gonna save a 20 in one spot. And what I am grateful for, what am I grateful for? Well, today I'm grateful that I was able to get over and visit a family member in the hospital. They've not been doing so well, but they're sounding a lot better, so that's good. And since I got two colors out, let's just do a two color. So, pen, you are here. I am grateful. So it's kind of a double whammy for him because he is not only not doing well, he also is immunocompromised and has caught COVID. So visiting is mask up time. Uh, nurses and doctors come in all wrapped up. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, next, I'm going to do some envelopes because I have the money to. And the first one we're gonna do is this bright as heck 35. So 20, 35. I meant to stuff more envelopes or fold more, more envelopes for my 100 envelope challenge because right now it's just a 40 envelope challenge. Uh, I did not get to that yesterday. I was busy enjoying the 4th of July. Speaking of which, the 4th of July, I hope everyone had fun, had a good holiday, uh, was able to watch fireworks as they desired or were free from fireworks if you have reactive pets, which I do. They don't like it at all, not one bit. Oh, let's do a dark one. It's very hard to see, but this says 32. I don't know. I can kind of kind of see it. It's very brown. So we're going to do 20. Okay. Five. Six. Okay. 20. 30. Two. I'm not too worried about these getting too full. Um because I don't have a little box. I would like, I saw, and I'm gonna have to go search whose channel it was, but they had this really great 100 envelope savings challenge, but it was a book, and I saw someone unstuff it, and it was so heckin' gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna use brown on the brown just because can't really see it anyway. Maybe we'll give it an outline in black. Okay, just so I know that it's filled and I've used it in case something happens. Like I'm not recording, which I am. Let's see here. Uh, how about this pretty blue? 22. 20, 21, 22. How's everybody's summer going? I know we're new into summer, but out here it is so humid, which is why if you can hear the AC running or the fan running, it just is necessary and I apologize for the extra noise in the background. I'm trying to mitigate it a little bit by using my earbuds, but I'm not sure that is actually gonna do the job. Um, I hope everybody's having a, a nice summer so far and able to stay cool. Um, I hope, oh, this one's pretty. I hope you're getting to spend times with time with family and friends as you'd like to. I hope, yeah, just that you're you're having a good time. So 20, 35, 6, 7, 37. My summer so far, well, I'm off this week from work, which is amazing. I 
really needed the time and I'm even though I'm struggling a bit with not being productive 100% of the time I am really enjoying my time off like yesterday I felt so incredibly guilty for not how do I want to put this for not being super productive all the time and I'm taking a vacation of course I should have some time off and just relax but it still feels wrong three four five six six okay so I pulled the eight I'm gonna put a 20 in there that'll be a surprise for me I just it's a struggle it's a struggle I still have some of that boss babe mentality where I'm supposed to be active and productive and if you're not moving and if you're not you know if you're not working you're you're slacking and I don't know it's not great for your because you need you need to take a break sometimes it's just the way it is and I'm not always good at forcing myself to take a break okay now I need a small amount so we'll pull this one oh one dollar even if I only save this forty dollars the 40 envelopes that I have that's still like a huge deal for my first savings challenge I think I don't also think I started out coloring these in but all right and do I have one more small amount five maybe no that's a ten now I'm picking and choosing oh dear oh the next one is five so I can do one two three four five and then I'm gonna do another gratitude and then I will be done so for anyone who remembers I do have some more cash in this binder so far I'm not a hundred percent sure what to do with the binder because envelope budgeting is that what you call it um, may not be the best way for me to save um, but I did I bought the binder and I have set aside the money that my child saved for the DS not the DS the iPad that they wanted and I just tucked it away aside not stuffing it yet because maybe I need to put it in the bank but I haven't needed to do that yet and so yeah I'm not sure how this will go but that's what it's doing let's see here another let's do a orange heart an orange flower an orange heart oh my goodness and what am i grateful for i am actually grateful for everyone who watches my videos i have 31 subscribers right now and i made one of my goals for the rest of the year to get a thousand subscribers now I can't control people subscribing, but I can control the video quality and hopefully I'm doing a good enough job that you feel like more people feel like it's worth subscribing to check me out. So I am grateful for all of you watching. Thank you. I hope that these notes stay with the cash on the inside. If they don't, that's okay. It's, it'll be fun still to read the, the gratitudes at the end of the year. But there we go. That is the last of the cash stuffing I have. If this ends up being the end of my video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you for stopping by. I appreciate everyone who likes the video or who subscribes so that they get notified when or at least see my new videos come in their watch or in their subscription feed and I am gonna go try and make this phone call and hopefully be able to give an update in a couple of minutes and then wrap up the video there but if I don't make it have a great day bye bye I made the phone call I made the phone call so I called and they are going to arrange a time to maybe come out and talk about what needs to be done for my house. It depends on how big the job is, which I totally get that. Like 
it sounds like it's going to be, it's probably going to be a small job. But then again, I work with one of, I, I work with someone who is related to them. So maybe they'll make it work. Maybe they won't. But at any rate, we can talk about it and I can find out how much I'm looking to pay. If it's a, you know, a $300 job or a $500 job or a $1,500 job. And you know, honestly, if it's that much, I'm just going to suck it up and do it myself. But, um, I just need, I need, I need something. I honestly feel like if I have to pay $800 to get somebody to clean out all of the rocks, all of the leftover bush, all of the weeds and put down, you know, even if they don't do anything else, if I could, if I have to pay $800 for somebody to do that, I'm going to do it. I just, I need it taken care of. And this is the adulting part. I could totally do it myself. I'm physically capable of doing it myself. If it wasn't so hot, if it was 60 degrees out there, I could do it. If it ends up being a $1,500 job this fall, guess what I'm doing when it's cool. I'm cleaning the hell out of that. But that is finally the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking in there with me. I'm sorry. I look all hot and sweaty. It's because I'm hot and sweaty. I turned down the air conditioner and the fan so that I could film and I am ready to turn them back up. <laughs> I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. And if you're not having a fantastic day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I really hope tomorrow's better for you. And I will catch you all next time. Bye.